Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to search with a drop down filter in Jingo. So, before we proceed, let's first understand what does we mean by the search box. So, search box allows the user to search for something specified by entering or selecting it from the drop down menu. So, we will learn to create a drop down menu to search in a Jingo with the help of a small project. So, let's see a project first. So here I set up a Django project with the name drop down search project and in it I have created an app with the name my app and uh, now let's see you know that after creating up your app you have to install it so in the main project directory or uh, you can say in your uh, Django project directory in my case the name is a drop down search project we have one file with the name settings.py so open this file and in it you have to install your app so after opening the file you have to scroll down and here you will get a list with the name installed apps and here you have to install your app so in case i have entered my app name my app after that you have to define your url so django includes a url as dot py file in the project directory to map a newly constructed app inside it so here we have a file urls dot py i open it and here you can see that to map it i have included path so here i enter include and in the function i have passed my app name dot urls okay and uh, after that i need a one model so for creating up a model i open my app and here i have a models.py file which is used to create a model in Django. i open it and here i enter up my code that is used to create a model so here i create a model class name employee and which have multiple fields so i explain you fields one by one so firstly i have created an employee id a field in a Django it is of an integer type and it act as a primary key that's why I pass attribute to primary underscore key to it and set its value to true the next I have a name field it is a character field type and uh, I set its maximum length of a character to 150 by passing a max underscore length attribute to it then I have a gender field and it is also a character type and I set its max length to 8 and after that I have a designation field and it is also a character type and it is of a 150 character limit for the character field and then to change the display name of the object in a Django model I use a def underscore underscore str underscore underscore self basically it will return the item name as the name we want to return so in my case i return as a self dot name and we also change the name of the model to employee by using this class meta and here i set the db underscore table name to employee now after creating up the model you have to register the model to the admin side so the user can view it in the admin application for this in the app we have a admin.py file i open it and here i enter up my code so basically here i enter at admin.site.register employee this is the employee is the name of the model that i have created i import it and i import it first then you have to create up the front end so let's create it so in Django, the front end of an application is always uh, resides in a templates folder. So here I have created templates folder first and, in, uh, and you have to create this folder in your main project directory. So to store all the project templates one. After creating it, you have to define its path. So for this, you have to open your settings.py file again and you need to update the DIRS which refers the location of the template folder and this DIRS attribute is located in the template list and here I define it as a template. After doing that you have to create up your HTML file. So in the templates folder you have to create an HTML file that contains the HTML code for creating up the drop down menu to search in a Django. 
so here i create a file with the name home.html so here i have written up the code so i will explain you so here i render the html file by calling up the form first uh, form tag and uh, here i use the post method inside it after that i uh, use the cs rf underscore token in the form element to protect the page from the hackers and uh, it securely send up your data then uh, we will use the select html tag to create up the drop down field for the gender and designation so here i firstly create for the gender and i have set the option as a male female and other and for uh, designation i have set, uh, set as a hr team lead junior it engineer senior it engineer etc etc then i add a search button for searching an employee on the basis of their gender and designation using the drop down field so here you can see that i create a search field then i use the table tag with the border 1 to store the employee id name gender and designation and after that i use the for loop which is used to fetch the data context which we pass in the render function in the views file and here i end up my for loop by using the end for tag and close up my table and the form and the body of the htm so with this we have successfully created up a front end now it's time to define the main logic for the application so main logic of the application is reside in your app uh, and here we have a file for it views.py so here i have written up my main logic i explain you here i create a view name as a drop down research and i import the employee from the models.py file on the top okay after that i execute the if statement to determine whether the request method is post or not if so we just get that gender here you can see that by using the post.get method and the designation also by using the post.get method okay and then i use the employee search query set with a filter method for returning the gender and the designation so here i use the employee dot object dot filter as a query set and here i pass it to the emp search variable and then i use the render function which returns the home dot html file with the emp search model query set object so it returns the gender and the designation emp search i set to the data set to the emp search and here from it fetch out the gender and designation if the request method is not post or you can say the request method is guessed get i use the display emp query set to fetch out the all i use the emp display emp query set with all method for returning each object from the model after that i use the render function which return the home.html file with the display emp model query set object okay here i pass as a data now we need to map the view with the url in order to call it so thus we have to create a urls.py file in the my app directory which is by default not created and here you have to map your view so here i map up my view views dot drop down research and i set its name to the drop down search and here i import all the views after that you need to execute your model to make the migration file that includes the code for the model tabular schema you have to type the command python manage dot py make migration and hit enter so you have to do all such things in the command prompt so it takes some time so just hold on it shows no changes detected after that you have to build a table for the migration file schema so for this you have to execute the command python manage.py migrate 
and hit enter it also takes some time so just wait it says all the migration are applied and there is no migration to imply now to add the data from the django admin interface you need a super user and if you don't have you can create it by command python manage.py create super user and after entering it you have to deploy your server by the command python manage.py run server and hit enter and now open up your project in your browser so here i have some records so now let's see whether it is working or not so now i want to search for an employee having a gender male so i click on this drop down select a male from it and i want the designation as a junior it engineer so i click on it and after that i click on the search button so you can see that it shows only of the employee that have the gender as a male and the designation as a junior it engineer so with this we have successfully learned how to search with a drop down filter in django so if you want this code you will get the link of our article in the description box and in the article we have a code file at the last and if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day